Approach the pallet slowly with the forks lowered, level, and in position to insert inside pallet. When traveling, your fork should be 2 to 3 inches off the floor or just high enough to avoid any uneven surfaces. Traveling with your forks excessively elevated can cause severe injury to others if you're involved in an accident or damage to property and products. Once your forks are inside the pallet, slowly tilt the load back to stabilize it and then raise the load off the floor, just high enough to avoid dragging the pallet or any uneven surfaces. If the area you're working in has a smooth floor, the suggested height is 2 to 3 inches off the floor. Dragging or sliding pallets greatly increases the operator's chances of damaging product. When entering the trailer, you will need to slow down. Raise the load to avoid dragging the pallet across the dock plate and bouncing or shifting the box around. Once inside the trailer, you can lower the pallet back down, so it's two to three inches off the floor. Once inside the trailer, you should travel down the center as long as you can. You never want to travel along the walls of a trailer and risk damage to the product or trailer. Please note, you do not want to travel down the walls of the trailer. If there are foreign objects protruding from the wall, you will damage the box. When you start to approach the area that you want to deposit the pallet, you will need to steer towards the wall of the trailer slowly. When making your approach, the operator should use caution to ensure he or she does not slide the product against the wall. During the final approach, you want to keep your forklift and product several inches off the wall. Once you're in the area, you want to deposit the pallet using your side shift lever and slowly shift the freight towards the wall. At this point, the forklift is not traveling forward, and the pallet has been lowered so the bottom of the pallet is barely touching the floor. The operator is using only the side shift function on the forklift to reach the desired position. Once your pallet touches the side base plate, deposit the pallet and back out. If the forklift you are using has forks longer than 36 inches, you will need to use extra caution to ensure you do not damage the product in front of the pallet you are depositing. This is what your final product should look like. The pallets are gently placed against each other, front to back, and sitting nice and uniform. Keeping the pallets against each other will help the load from shifting while in transit.